हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड क्लास सी पावर एम्पलीफायर व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज ट्यून्ड एम्पलीफायर दिस इज द सर्किट ऑफ क्लास सी पावर एम्पलीफायर वेयर एट द कलेक्टर साइड ए ट्यून्ड सर्किट इज कनेक्टेड विद द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सी एंड एल सो दिस इज द टैंक सर्किट वेयर across the load resistor we will be measuring the output voltage you need to remember that in a class c power amplifier the transistor is on for less than half of the cycle which is less than 180 degree of the input signal which is applied so as you can see in this diagram since the q point is below the cutoff region the output will be for less than 180 degree as shown in this figure here the tank circuit is used as a load where we will be measuring the output voltage for a class c operation the transistor has a reverse bias across base and emitter terminal since we are connecting minus vbb across the base terminal this base emitter voltage is at q point which is below the cutoff region so this minus vbb is connected to the base circuit which reverse bias the base emitter junction here the transistor will conduct only when the input voltage or the input signal exceeds the cut in voltage of the base emitter junction this is the input and output waveform so here during positive half of the input the transistor will be on that's why the output will be constant across the load resistor during negative half of the input the transistor will be off that's why the voltage across the load resistor will be whatever input signal is received by the transistor so during positive half of the input cycle transistor will be on that's why we will get a constant output voltage so during negative half of the input cycle transistor will be off that's why we will get the output waveform which will be equal to the input signal the frequency of oscillation of class c power amplifier can be given as fr is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi square root of lc so this is the expression for frequency of oscillation of class c power amplifier now let us derive the expression for efficiency the dc power can be given as pdc is equal to vcc into idc the power dissipated by the transistor can be given as pd that can be written as vce at saturation into idc we can write ac power as pac is equal to pdc minus pd so if we substitute the values we will get vcc into idc minus vce saturation into idc so if we take idc as common we'll get pac is equal to vcc minus vce saturation into idc so percentage efficiency can be given as pac which is output power divided by pdc that is input power multiplied with 100 so if we substitute the values we will get vcc minus vce saturation multiplied with idc divided by vcc into idc if we cancel out these two idc percentage efficiency can be given as vcc minus vce saturation divided by vcc into 100 so we can write percentage efficiency is equal to 1 minus vce saturation divided by vcc into 100 since vce saturation is very much less than vcc this term will have very less value 
that's why we can say the percentage efficiency will be greater than 90% so the efficiency will be greater than 90% in case of class C power amplifier this is about class C power amplifier hope you have understood the topic thank you